So when the battle might not come back When the boots hit the ground You can't stop us now The prophets in your town We here to shut it down When the boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, be here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now It's time for the war cry I got one question for you, bro. Uh, before you go, you live around here? You don't live around here? You're from the Bay Area, so you visiting? Who you visiting? Oh, okay, you visit? You visiting your like, family, stuff like that, coming out? So, are you visiting for holidays, or, or you just visit holidays? Okay, so give me a Psalms 94, verse 16. Seven. Bring it out. The brother's going over culture. He's going over culture. Let me show you something that we might not think about. That's ultimate racism. You understand that? Ultimate racism. You have a certain color to you, right? A certain essence to you, right? You call yourself African American or black, right? Right? So look right there on that sign. See if you can find African American on that sign and tell me what's next to it. Judah. The, the tribe of Judah of the nation of Israel. That's your true heritage, your true nationality. That's right, right. right. You see that? You, those are your brothers on there, the West Indian blacks, the so-called Haitians, the so-called Mexicans, the so-called Guatemaltecos, uh, right. Indios, Indios nativos, That's right. that. Look, I can say the Spanish too, because those are my brothers. I got to be able to speak to them. Bring you it out. But what you've been told in this society is those ain't your brothers, that they some other folks, that they're taking all your jobs, and they're taking the land from you, and they're taking, 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 taking. That's what they did in Willie Lynch. All praises. So you've seen the unity, but let me show you some more unity. Give me this. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Yeah. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? So the Most High God, our God, says, who will rise up for me against against the evildoers? You understand that? So it's, the brother was bringing out, it's evil to let our brothers and sisters go on and sin. But let our brothers and sisters not know how to treat their sisters like a princess that they are. But they end up treating them like whores. Call them, call them B-words and, and, and all that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's evil for our brothers to treat their their baby's mother as a whore and That's just right. walk away from their children and their family. That's an evil thing. But here's another thing. It's evil for us that have a culture, have a heritage, have a history, have our own holidays to celebrate the holidays that aren't ours, that aren't from our God. Give me Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. I just want to give this to you before you go. You see what I'm saying? That's that's an evil thing. What, how you, how can you say that you're not a racist people, that you are an all-inclusive people, if you won't include my heritage? Right. If you won't give me time to celebrate my God and Bring my it people? Out. Bring it out. How can you say that you are an all-inclusive and non-racist people when I have to celebrate your Christmas? When I have to celebrate the destruction of a hundred million of my brothers Bring on Thanksgiving? It up. Bring it out. I have to. It's not like I can go to work and work on that day and be like, you know, Chuck, I don't celebrate that. No, you give me the time off and then you cut my pay. I have to do that, but I can't get the time off for my holidays. Bring it up. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So this... This is a message to our God. We've always been relatives we always been neighbors to other nations we always been in a land doing you know with them and in all of our people we want to be included we want to be included so we start doing what they do and our god sent the message to us and said this is what i'm gonna tell you about that thus saith the lord learn not the way of the heathen so he said don't learn the way of them other people that's what the heathen mean it means other people most times in the bible he said don't learn the ways of the heathen don't learn the ways of the so-called white man christmas uh, Halloween, uh, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, President's Day, and all of that stuff. 
they, they, they streamlined holidays so much that they relegated your entire history to, thir to 28 days. The shortest month in the year. Bring it out. And they gave it to you. They said, oh, here, nigga, celebrate your, celebrate your history now. Bring it out. That's how streamlined these holidays are. That's how streamlined the racism that we go through each and every day. Right. Each and every day. Teach, all you know. Hispanics got is Cinco de Mayo. That's it. Right. You own all of this land to this day. Right. And the only holiday you get that's yours is Cinco de Mayo. For real? Out. For real? You are a man who's in your brother's land. It should be just like visiting your family when right. you come to see the Hispanics and the Native Indians. It should be just like visiting family. The resources and everything should be shared amongst us because we're kinfolk. We're yeah. actual blood family. That's but right. the immigrants, the actual aliens to this land, they said, look, you get the shortest month of the year, Negro. Celebrate your holidays. Celebrate. Oh, and you don't even get to celebrate how you want to celebrate. We like Martin Luther King because he said, celebrate how we celebrate. So y'all going to celebrate him. But if you decide, hey, no, I like Malcolm X. I like uh, Harriet Tubman. I like uh, Nate, Nate Parker. Bring it out. I like any of these, Marcus Garvey. I like anybody outside of Martin Luther King who said, we need to glorify what's special in us. We need to glorify what God gave to us. Anybody who says that, they wrong. You can right. celebrate them. Bring it out. They don't even Bring show that in the schools. Bring it out. When we talk about what actually happened to us, what our history is, and the fact that we survived over 500 years of slavery, guess what they say? No, no, no. No, you didn't. That was an immigration. Bring it you out. You voluntarily stacked yourself Bring like sardines and crapped on each other just to get over it. Bring it out. Voluntarily worked for free to Bring. build the nation you don't even have a part in. You have to vote every 26 years for your right to Teach. vote. Read that. Learn not the way of the heathen. He said, the Most High God said, you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Indians, don't learn the ways of your oppressor. Don't learn the ways of the other nations because I gave you special ways for just you. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That all zodiac and birthdays and all that astrology and stuff, our God said, don't even worry about that. That's for them. That's I, right. your God, worship me. Christ didn't celebrate his birthday. None of our forefathers celebrate his birthday. Oh, yeah. And contrary to popular belief, Christ wasn't born in the dead of winter. Hey, 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 15 degrees. Hey, hey, hey. Come on now. Have some common sense, people. Read. Well, the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathen worry about those things because they don't have a God to look up to. They don't have a culture, so they keep taking the culture of other people. You ever, right. you ever understood that? Bring it out. We wear our pants a certain way, they follow right behind us. They wear a cap, we flip it to the back, they follow right behind us. Our sisters wear their head wraps and their jewels and their costly array. They take it from us and give us filthy rags and they wear it instead of us. Bring it out! Everywhere they go, they, how come you don't know what Caucasians like to eat? Because they eat all your food. Bring it out! We make fried chicken, they make fried chicken. Colonel Sanders, 16 herbs and spices. Now you eating your own food and paying them for it. Bring it out! You made that! Taco Bell, you put that together. That was scraps that they forced you to eat in the missions. Bring it up. That's no different than a plantation where you pick sugar cane, tobacco, you mine for gold, you pick the strawberries and the oranges. All that is is a plantation. Bring it up. When they hunted y'all to extinction, that's when they came to get us in 1619. Y'all been in slavery since 1492, where over 3,000 Arawak slaves were sent to France, Hispaniola, and Portugal. That's what we out here preaching. We out here preaching the upliftment of our people. We out here preaching actual race love. That's right. Actual self love. Bring it out. Actual God love. That's what we preach. Hold where you at. Give me First John chapter five verse two. Bring it I want to make sure you get this so you can take it because I know you out here for the holidays. I know it. Come on. The book of First John chapter five verse two. Uh huh. By this we know that we love. Them. What's that word? Love. What's that word? Love. By this what? By this we know that we love. Say it again. By this we know that we love. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. This is how God in the New Testament says how we are supposed to know that we love the children of God. Bring it out from the top. Love. By this we know that we love the children of God. By this, by this, by this we know that we love the children of God. Come on. When we love God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. 
when we love God and keep his commandments. You know what comes with his commandments? Give me that in Nehemiah. Let's show what comes with God's commandments. It's not just ten commandments. It's not just ten commandments. Ten unalienable truths. Basic instructions before you leave life or earth or whatever you call it. That's not what it is. Let's find out what God gave over 40 days and 40 nights on Mount Sinai. The book of Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 13. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai, uh -huh. and spoketh with them from heaven, uh -huh. and gavest them right judgment. So the Most High God gave us right judgments, gave us right judgments. He gave us, so-called blacks and Hispanics, the right to judge. That's right. The right to judge. That's right. There is no only God can judge me, because when he judges, he's cutting off heads and lighting people on fire. That's right. You want the judgment of your brothers and sisters to say, hey, wait, 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 wait. We hurting ourselves. Let's get right. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We abandoning our wives. Let's get right. Hey, wait, wait. We are raising bastard children. Bring it out. Let's fix this. Bring you want out. your brothers to tell you that. That's, That's right. why you so-called black and Hispanic women know that your man is actually about something. You can't complain that the black man ain't ish, and then you tell him he can't judge. That's what it means to be about something. Come on. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai, and spake it with them from heaven, and gave it them right judgments and true laws. He gave us right judgments, the right to judge, and he gave us true laws, laws that we are to judge according to. God gave us laws to judge according to. You understand that? Come on. Good statutes and commandments. Good statutes, and he also gave us the commandments. Let me ask you this logically speaking. If God, if you truly believe in God, you truly believe in God? All right, so you truly believe that in seven days he made the earth and everything that we see, right? Why would it take him 40 days and 40 nights to write 10 sentences? Bring it out. Does that make sense to anybody? Teach. I'm just asking. Bring it out. The Bring God out. of heaven and earth took seven days to make the galaxy and the universe, but it took him 40 days and 40 nights to write 10 sentences on stone. He took the seven day off, right? And he took the seven day off, so six days. But it took him 40 days and 40 nights since. We talked about heritage. We talked about good stuff. We talked about Negroes that are about something. Bring you ready out. for a movement? You ready for a revolution? Then come listen to your brother. Bring it out. show you how to get it. That's so right. He actually gave us laws, statutes, commandments. Hold on. One more time. Holidays. He gave us holidays. Hold on. Look at this. And made us known unto them thy holy Sabbath. The holy Sabbath is a holiday we're supposed to keep every seven That's days. Right. Come on. And commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moses, thy servant. Now give me uh, Leviticus, you holding something for me? Now give me Leviticus 23 and one. So he gave us the Holy Sabbath, right? All of our holidays are considered Sabbaths. They're kept as Sabbaths. So we got the seven day Sabbath every single week. And at the start of a month is the new moon. We actually celebrate the new moon. We have a, a feast day, a get together with our family and our closest friends right. in the scriptures, in the power of the Lord to celebrate the beginning of a month. It starts in the Bible Jesus. according to the new moon. Bring That's a out. holiday that we keep. That's, That's us. Right. Right. He gave us the Passover, which celebrates the destruction of our enemies and the deliverance of our people. Yeah, right. Let right. me ask you this question. What does Thanksgiving celebrate? No. Thanksgiving celebrates the demolishing of the so-called Native Indian and Hispanic. Uh, That's right. what it celebrates. When you actually look at what each food, like why do you eat turkey? Why do you put stuffing in it? Why do you have cranberry sauce? Why is it this particular food on that particular day? That's right. Why? Why can't I have a hamburger and just say I'm thankful? Why? No. No, because the conquistadors were eating the fatness of the land at that time. They had stuffing, which is an amalgamation of bread and different herbs, to symbolize the guts that they were ripping out of our people Jeez. because they had the power to do it. They had the turkey that was stuffed because they would stuff them back with garbage. What? They would rip the fetuses out of their womb where they developed C-sections and feed them to dogs. Jeez. And if they were too small for the dog, Bring they would catch them against the rock. That's what that celebrates. Cutting the flesh out of our country. Right. You understand me? This is a disgusting holiday that we keep. Disgusting. 
But yet we keep it. No, I'm just being thankful. Why aren't you thankful all 365? That's right. No. Every day the sun comes up and the sun goes down. The moon gives its light and the stars are in the sky. Why aren't you thankful for that? That's right. Every day you have protection in your skin that is natural. It's called melanin. It's the only reason that you don't die from skin cancer on the face of the planet. And you can develop vitamin D. That's right. Why aren't you thankful for that? You got the best rhythm. You got the best style. Every bit of invention that is on the face of the earth, the light, the transistor, the engine, the piston, the computer chip, the cell phone, the shoes on your feet that's was developed right. by your forefathers. That's right. And the spirit that's put in you. Why aren't you thankful for that? Bring it All out. 365. Bring it out. But yet one day out of the week, you got to be thankful. Why? 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 Because they taught you in slavery when they were beating you and ripping the skin off your backs and laying with your mothers Run. and laying with your father. Run. Yeah, Run. they laid with your father. Run. Turning you into breeders. They said, no, you're going to celebrate what I celebrate, your destruction. Run. And that's why they don't tell us to celebrate Passover. Jeez, because I'm that's celebrating their destruction. Run. 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 Our God says, I killed that's an right. entire nation of people for my people. That's right. That's right. You understand? That's what he said. And I want you to keep it. Make I want it you to remember it. I want you to relive it and know that I'll do it again and again and again and again as long as you keep my commandments. That's right. That's right. This is what you got to get. You got to get this. Wherever you got to go, I see, I see you in the spirit. It's got to wait. You need this. You need to take it to them. Bring them to us. On that flyer, there's a there's a website. We on there three times a day, seven days a week, free. All you got to do, right here, right here. Website and an email. You can't get away from us. We here. And in the Bay Area, we there too. That's right. Guess what? In the South Bay Area, we there too. That's right. On the West Coast, on the East Coast, around the globe, Israel is there. Just look for the purple and gold. That's All right, bro. Go ahead and do what you got to do, but take this with you. Our high holy days are in the book. In the book. Right. Our nation right. and our brothers, right there. That's right. All right? You're from the tribe of Judah, nation of Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.